So I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. And I know in some families it's tradition to go around and say what you're thankful for. So I just wanted to make a video saying some of the things that I'm thankful for. Some of them might surprise you. First off, I wanted to say that I'm thankful for getting cancer. I know it's not something you hear every day, and it's kind of strange to be like, oh yeah, I'm thankful I got cancer because, you know, cancer is such a horrible thing, but I actually have learned a lot from it. I would have never gotten really close with my family. Without it, I would have never gotten my dog, Gabby, and I really really like her. She's fun. Probably would have gotten a dog, but I would have never gotten her. Sorry, I'm watching TV and my friend's on it. It's really cool. A Christmas store too is on TV and my friend David is in the, he plays one of the main character's friends. He's on it right now. It's really cool to watch my friends on TV. <laughs> and I wouldn't have met my best friend, Alyssa, who is my best friend boyfriend um <laughs> she's my cousin she's my third cousin once removed we think um she's my roommate she's basically everything <laughs> we have a great relationship i never would have met her i never would have became best friends with her probably most likely would have still be in la and probably acting on some tv show or movie like psh, no big deal but you know i'll go i'll go back and start acting again and it'll be fun so I'm not missing too much and hey I can't see my friends out there but I can see them on tv apparently <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten to meet half the people that I did just so many inspirational people that I've met and I've lived in Hollywood I've met so many celebrities but like they don't really mean anything I wouldn't have known what it's like to have cancer and I wouldn't have gotten over my fear of getting cancer I have so much support behind me, which is truly fantastic. Thank you guys for all of that. And I love getting like little emails and notes being like, hey, I'm praying for you, or hey, I was just thinking about you. Hope your cancer's going well. Hope you're having a good day. Sorry to hear about more chemo, everything you have to do. It's no biggie. <laughs> Without cancer, I never would have um, lost weight, or I never would have found out what my hair looks like super short. Nope. And I never would have known what I look like bald. Without cancer, I never would have been able to experience some of my family traditions that I haven't had in like two years since I moved out. Which is like, I haven't had Thanksgiving with, with my family. I haven't had Christmas with my family. And I haven't had caramel apples, which is a big deal in my family. Like we go apple picking, which we didn't do this year. Some of us did, but I didn't go. We go apple picking, and then my grandpa makes the best caramel apples ever. Anyone who's ever tried them says so. Which I haven't had one for like two years. They're amazing. I never would have got to hang out with my cousins. I like hanging out with my cousins. And we haven't hung out in like forever. Partially because I've lived in California for two years, but that and we're just grown up now, so it's like cool to hang out and we're all like chill and not little kids anymore. And I've really, I've learned a lot. You know, you just have to take things day by day and not really worry about what's going to happen to me or the future. Stay strong and just keep fighting. You have to just always put up a good fight and never give up. I'm also thankful for everything that has happened this year. It's been a pretty crazy year and it didn't turn out at anything like I planned. Like, the summer I wanted to spend on the beach. I wanted to learn how to surf. I wanted to work on more movies and TV shows. Actually, one good thing was that for about six months before I got cancer, I got to live as a full-time actress for six months. It was great. I loved it. And that's been my goal is just to live as a full-time actor and not have a side job or anything to help pay rent or just to help pay the bills, which is what I was doing for six months until I got diagnosed and had to come home. That was fantastic. I truly enjoyed every minute minute of it and couldn't. I can't wait to go back. But a blessing in disguise means, because you know most of you don't think like cancer is something you should be proud of or should be happy you have. But throughout this whole experience, I've learned just so much about life in itself and. You have to live in the moment and take things as they come and 
chance to meet somebody. Okay. This is my puppy, Gabby. She's great. And I like her a lot. Say hi. Say hi. She's my best friend. Thank you. But I started making her own um, video series, so you could stay tuned for that. Over here. Look right there. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Yeah.